Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. The title of the video this evening UK time is Earth Galactic July Energy Update. Earth Galactic July Energy Update. Uh, the energy of this time being centered around one word and one word only liberation liberation in every sense of the word both from us in our human choices and our human experience right to the let's say spiritual soul liberation galactic liberation right the way through so where should we start let's start usually start from the top down so let's start from the top down so what i'm going to say before i launch in apart from to say that i hope you're all doing okay and managing nav to navigate through these times is i have been guided so i'm choosing my words carefully here I've been guided to share this in a particular way because I'm not allowed, allowed at the moment to say exactly what I want to say and to share exactly how I want to share because I've been guided, strongly guided not to. Now, as time goes on, when I am allowed to share it will become obvious why that is the case and why i'm not allowed to give you a blow by blow account of what's been happening galactic wise um energy wise this end at a later date, I can share in detail, but not at this moment in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk around some of that area that I want to talk about. Uh, just to get across a particular message of liberation. And then I can't go any further than that. Oh, it's so frustrating, but there... Um, so the first thing I'm going to say is I'm um, like many of you as time is progressing, I am working very differently, experiencing very differently, and perhaps will be even sharing very differently. So as part of that, I am involved with a main new well i could say guide but it feels more correct to say contact who is working with my guide team because this is fairly new so i've worked with a couple of new guides over the last several weeks but this one is very very new and this this is a a, a lion what i call lion being uh, civilization so very tall female lion being that now works with me and I can't go any further than that I do have a name I'm not going to share that name at the moment because it doesn't feel right to do so and I'm not going to share about her beyond that except to say that uh, as time are going on many of us are working with different people on our teams uh for my personal experience as you know this is an experiential channel so it will always be connected to what to my personal experience as well that's the way it seems to be on this channel um what i can say is i've been photographing uh, for a number of years now seven eight nine years lion connected energies and sometimes interacted on as a bridge with clients I'm working with with that civilization actually I've worked 
as a bridge with several um, star being or extraterrestrial civilizations. But um, this will be the first time so that the album, the sounding, um, releasing emotions and activating galactic consciousness, etc. album that I did with my younger son last year, I believe it was, was Lyran, the Lyran civilization channeled. Um, but this is the first time that I have um, been working over and over again now. This is all very recent uh, with uh, female lion uh, star being energy. Um, I'm not going to share her name yet because it doesn't feel right to do so and I am being limited here on what I can say and the reason will become very apparent to that much later on in so many months time I'm um, there's a certain point I can't go beyond um, that will be quite clear why that is later on uh, but anyway uh, what I do laugh about this particular lioness energy uh, which again is probably no coincidence because my, I'm an actual Leo in my star sign and um, it's over the years, especially over the last several years, people keep identifying me with that lioness kind of energy, strangely enough, or not strangely enough because it's probably connected to my so-called junk DNA that I've probably got galactic family on um, on that side of it, but I mean everybody has in your so-called junk DNA you're collect connected to the stars inside you but outside of you anyway um, so this it's a beautiful feeling because uh, the energy is very the closest I can come is to the angelic vibration so I do work up and down the scales of different uh, vibrations to identify them um, so this is a very angelic realm, uh, that's the nearest I can get, so it's a lion being um, that is helping us, and uh, what I would say is uh, I don't get into the planet or star system they come from, but I, I believe they're, they're from, from Sirius. Um, how I tend to work is, like I say, very much boots on the ground and experientially, and then I get the info as I'm going along intuitively as a channel. Uh, so anyway, this is a kind of new development and lovely, and like I say, I'll get into much more details on that later on this year, maybe into next when I'm allowed to talk about it. I'm not actually allowed to talk about a lot of it uh, but this is a result of my own galactic consciousness activating and coming on much more online within myself over the last 18 months and therefore this has been a development of that so the title of this video all centering around liberation is no coincidence if we start at the very highest levels of liberation Many times over the course of the work I'm doing, I have seen with my own eye, third eye, but my own actual eyes, my own psychic sense, my own intuition. Obviously, I'm a medium clairvoyant anyway. I have seen and identified many crossovers between galactic warring parties and to simplify one planet warring against another. Um, sadly, we are not the only warlike civilization in the universe or universes. Um, there are others, sadly, and there are galactic wars and there have been galactic wars. Sometimes in the, in the course of my work, working multidimensionally with clients on their behalf, we come across these galactic wars and... Uh, one civilization up against another civilization and so on and so forth so when we talk about liberation if we if we talk about your so-called junk dna which was never junk it has a sequence of 
codes and identifications in it aligning you inside your own self inside your soul your spirit your own internal universe aligning you with perhaps particular civilizations or star systems planets races that you are either related to connected to um, like it's like you have relatives on earth you have relatives off earth um, but also they might also be a civilization that you were up against in a galactic war-like scenario and i've actually seen this firsthand with clients where we've identified some of these things and had to go into an interdimensional space or actually up onto craft um, usually in a plasma transparent form of craft where we've had to i'm going to say sort that out where they've been held um, by one civilization and they're another civilization and you could say is that a past life it depends how you want to view this you could say it's a past but really we could say it's all happening at the same time um so there's amazing things going on all around liberation so people are sometimes caught up multi-dimensionally past present and future all happening now if you like with these historical galactic wars um and sometimes they are um i've having to be so careful how i word this um caught up i'm not going to use the word i want to say because I'm, I'm not supposed to caught up in other ways so we are at a unique point in in time now where multiple souls all over the world have the ability to be liberated from on a on a physical but also on a soul level on a consciousness level on an essence level be liberated from other existing realities where they may be involved in a warlike fashion or detained in a prisoner like capacity we're also able to access our so-called junk DNA again which was never junk in a way we never could before because it's now active in a lot of people it's switched on it's gone live shall we say as part of their lineage and as part of their raising of consciousness up through the the ladder the rungs of the heart we're able to in this earthbound reality liberate parts of ourself that have been caught up in mass programming from birth mass belief systems that aren't serving us from birth mass interference from the times and fall of atlantis and the times of lemuria both of course accessible now as a state of consciousness within us but also some of us have our lineage with those civilizations but all of us can access them as a state of consciousness so the liberation from the old life experiences what we call the past those things memories emotions that get caught in the pain body they get caught in the physical body holding us back 
making us sad, making us depressed, making us low. Round and round that goldfish bowl, we're, we're having this chance to liberate from that and actually come from what we call that separation mindset or state of consciousness into a unified state of balanced consciousness or what we call zero point so that we have this liberation process going on in many people that are going through that of course another word for that process is ascension we also can bring it down more into the the human experience and some humans some people listening to this video will be very much consciously aware that there is a battle going on which has been going on for a long time but really upped its game in january 2020 a battle for human consciousness and to prevent that ascension so in a way we've been in a third world war since january 2020 a battle that we know the forces of love compassion light and those forces are not external to us although the external on those realms do help us but are internal within us we know that this is a battle that humanity is winning and does win and is successful in so there is that percentage of people on the planet that realize this and are going through a an inner process of choosing on a soul a personality and a consciousness level choosing whether they are choosing freedom and liberation or whether they are not ready to choose that this time of course one can only truly choose freedom and liberation if one realizes there is a need to choose freedom and liberation if one does not realize one is being incarcerated in any sense of the word right from the very top spiritually galactically soul right down to the human experience of course all one and the same and interconnected if one doesn't realize there is an incarceration taking place one would not lean towards liberation so it's this this very human part of it where humans are choosing from the personality from the mindset but also from their life experience and programming and also from their multi-dimensional experience sometimes because we are coming into our multi-dimensional reality at this time they are choosing whether they are going to continue very much along the same path that humanity has been on or whether they are choosing freedom liberation the energy of liberation many will choose across the planet i'm talking on a planetary scale now liberation and many won't for all sorts of reasons because they are caught up in the old programming or because they were never destined within their soul or spirit on this occasion to choose liberation they will liberate once outside of the earth experience shall we say once they have left the earth plane and you will find at this point in time that it's pretty it's not like it hangs in the balance it's pretty obvious and evident to see those that are magnetically realigned 
and resonant with the ascension reality on earth and those that are not aligned with it there's like a signal if you like i could almost say it's like a magnetic almost like attraction really going on there that one can sense in people's soul as whether the, which way they're going to go really it's not like at this stage it hangs in the balance much people generally are going through that process of becoming conscious ascension is the other word for it fully from the heart they're on that journey they've started that journey or they're not going to start the journey and they're not going to do it this time and again there's no judgment in that it is what it is not everyone was destined or wanted to this time and some will do it not in the human earth vehicle so it comes down onto all these levels choosing liberty in your soul in your spirit Choosing liberty as a personality in your mind and what that really means to you. And this is something that is coming up over and over again now because this is the point that we're at in human history. And it's uh, it wasn't planned. I, I didn't plan to do this video today, but through a sequence of highly synchronistic events, again, some of which I cannot speak about at the moment, yet it will come later hopefully later this year i can talk about it that's what i'm hearing clear audiently uh i decided to come up here today and of course i've just realized it is the 4th of july which is um american independence day and of course american independence day very much tied up with uh freedom and what freedom really is so no coincidence that it goes out today on the 4th of july it's a really extraordinary time to be alive it's an incredibly exciting time to be alive and it's all moving at, at such an amazing speed although sometimes when you're within it it doesn't seem as if it is but look at us now we're on the 4th of july already there are so many things like the things i can't talk to you about here now happening on the amazing fantastic positive front that aren't able to be made public yet that can't be spoken to even in these alternative circles and certainly can't be spoken about in the mainstream arena yet but there are amazing things happening as you know i may be a channel for spirit i may be a channel from the heart but i do speak experientially so these are direct things events circumstances that i am witnessing or part of or privy to oh, that's all i can say about that as are i'm sure across the world millions of others so the energy of now and july is really liberation in every sense of the word from every part of us as a being as a soul in every reality in every parallel dimension in every alternate life in every life that you would call past lives that are running it's the liberation and the return of us in the fullness of who we are in that wholeness in that completion not with parts of us lost in our pain body or parts of us lost to programming or parts of us lost somewhere else out there or parts of us lost in a so-called another timeline that we're looping round and round in but the complete and whole 
return and retrieval of our, our whole consciousness, all aspects of us as consciousness, to come into our higher power, still within the human vehicle, still as human beings, from the heart, living from and maintaining that vibration until we get to a point which is coming, it's unfolding, where we have a planet Earth filled with souls, us, that are creating a reality from that space of sovereignty, unification, zero point, love, compassion from the heart, creating, actively creating on the earth, with the earth, the experiences, the lives, the quality of life, all from liberation, all from truth that we want. We've never done it this way before. We didn't have to do it this way before, but we're doing it this way now. We will look back at these times and realize just how monumental they were. That they were a turning point for humanity to take back humanity's freedom, liberation. And we can be justifiably proud of ourselves in that we did turn the right way as a species as a whole we turned the right way we chose the heart we chose love we chose the truth we chose compassion we chose to be sovereign beings that divinity we chose the highest outcome for us and the highest outcome for the planet. An extraordinary time to be part of this, to live this, to be alive. And an extraordinary time choose liberation and on that note I will love you and leave you as always take care of yourself for any of my American friends or clients that are watching this happy 4th of July happy freedom day and for everybody else, choose liberation in every sense of the word. I will love you and leave you. Take care. Bye.